This brand new AI is literally crazy. It might just be the best AI image generator currently on the market. And the best part is that it's free to use and completely uncensored. The AI I'm talking about is called Flux by Black Forest Labs. Now, you might not know this team, but I'm sure you've seen their work before because this is a new startup created by the same people that created Stable Diffusion, which is one of the most popular and well-regarded AI image generator. Flux AI is so good at realism that it's honestly scary. Images created by Flux are confusing everyone on the internet. I mean, just look at these. Like, how could you tell that these are not real? There is no way these images are AI. AI hands are almost always weird looking with extra fingers. Not with Flux. This new AI is probably the best when it comes to people and anatomy. So you don't have to worry about wonky AI hands ever again. And that's just one of the many cool things that showcase just how powerful this mall is. But whether all the rumors are true or if it's just another overhyped AI tool, I'll be verifying that myself by testing it out in this video. Although Flux, it's fairly new, it's already been considered a serious competitor for the big three. Stable Diffusion, DALI, and more specifically, Midjourney. But why is everyone comparing it to Midjourney specifically? Well, that's because Midjourney is best known for realism. And turns out that Flux's most standout feature is also realism. But unlike Midjourney, which is a paid tool with several restrictions, Flux is completely free and accessible online to basically everyone. It's also open source, which means that developers have a lot more control over the AI and can train it on their own data. So it makes a lot of sense to me why people prefer Flux over the alternatives. Let's take a look on some of the main features that people are talking about. First up is obviously anatomy, because you can have good realism if the anatomy looks off. Unsurprisingly, Flux handles human anatomy really well. Common issues like multiple fingers and body parts melting into each other are mostly avoided by this model. The AI can create bodies with accurate proportions and super realistic human features. Sometimes it looks like the pictures were taken with just a regular phone camera. But let's give it a try. So here, if you type, for example, an old man holding a warm coffee mug. Wow, that looks so real. Is that how you will look like in five years? No, I, I, I'm not that old yet. Now, the image generated by the AI looks fantastic with rich details in the face and in the hands. And all the fingers are where they should be. Now, if I want something that shows the entire body, like a gymnast in the middle of a backflip, well, from what I can see, the model maintains the proportions of the body perfectly. You can also choose your own aspect ratio, making this the perfect tool for generating AI images for different platforms, like Instagram, for example. In fact, this is an incredibly useful tool for people that run AI influencers, like myself, which are a great way of earning money through AI and influencers marketing. Tools like Flux make it easier than ever to get into this industry, but setting things up initially can be challenging. And that's exactly why I'm running a mentorship in which I will create an AI influencer model for you, so you can start making money immediately. I'll be your guide, since you'll get access to me 24-7. If you want to know more about how we help people use AI to make thousands of dollars each week, just check out the link at the top of the description down below. Now, if you want your images to look even better, you can pair up Flux with fine-tuning scripts like Laura Photo to achieve results that are not only insanely realistic but also visually amazing. Especially when it comes to skin texture because you might miss it at first but if you look closely at a bunch of images from Flux it still struggles a little when it comes to skin texture. The skin usually comes out looking a little bit smoother and glossier than it would be in real life. Flux is also really good at handling complex multi-element prompts, which means you can have multiple people and subjects in your images. You can also create some really elaborate scenes. So let's try both of those out at the same time. For example, if I type three goth fairies sitting on a couch playing video games. Okay, that looks pretty clean and it honestly followed the prompt very well. But of course, it's only up to a point because the more characters we add, the more difficult it gets for the AI and that's where things start to look weird. And the AI will just start ignoring some of the things mentioned in the prompt. So let's try something challenging by having the model render some text. 
because by now we know that adding text to an image is something most AIs are really bad at. With the text either being misspelled or just looking like a mess of weird lines. So let's generate a person with something written on their shirt, for example, and see if the AI gets it right. Now let's type a girl on a street with milk and cookies written on her shirt. Now it looks like it doesn't have any problem at all. So let's write something a little longer. <laughs> Uh, no. How about today is a beautiful day and I'm very happy that my AI influencers models are bringing me money daily. Okay, so now it's having some difficulty, but it still gets incredibly close. For reference, I tried the same prompt with the other AI image generators and these are some of the results I got. Now, the best part about Flux is arguably the worst part, depending on who you ask. It's the fact that Flux is completely uncensored. So does that mean... No. Well, maybe, but what it actually means is that it has a lot of copyrighted stuff for you to play around with, like brand logos, celebrity faces, and other IPs, which can be a lot of fun. Now, I should mention that as AI becomes more realistic, there is a growing concern that it could be misused for creating scams and spreading misinformation. So I would highly suggest trying not to do anything inappropriate with this, like putting people's faces on some questionable content, because A, is illegal and B, that just ruins the fun for the rest of us. All right, so let's see if we could recognize and create some famous people and brands. Let's type Donald Trump drinking Coca-Cola with the logo facing towards the camera. Well, it's pretty accurate when it comes to depicting famous people. Let's try Mickey Mouse smoking a cigarette. Wow, okay, that is pretty impressive. Now, if you want to try out Flux for yourself, you find it on Hugging Face, and I'm leaving a link in the description below. Otherwise, you can also download and use Flux locally from Pinocchio. And you really don't need high specs for it either. Any decent GPU should be able to run it just fine. Now, if you go to Black Forest Labs website under the What's Next section, you'll find that they are already working on their next AI mold called Sota. Sota. No, Sota. And the team says that this one will be a text to video for everybody. So we know that it will also be open source and freely available to the public, which is crazy if you think about it, because if it comes out anytime soon, it might just beat OpenAI's Sora, which still isn't available to the public as of yet. Now, images from Flux are going viral on social media because of their ridiculously high quality. And it's good to note that even newer startups are taking the open source AI route. Open source has been steadily gaining popularity ever since we we got uh, made us Llama 3.1 earlier this year. And if you want to find out how insane the Llama 3.1 really is, you can click on this video right here. But before you do so, don't forget to subscribe. That's all for today. My name is David. That's ButtButt. Insert catchy phrase here.